Hello, this is Veeler, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Last time, well, we finally got the, um, the corrupted crystal we needed to be able to get into Garuda's lair. And, well, our next step is going to go kick her ass. Um, so, I didn't show you this before, I don't think, but if you want to get back into, um, where Sid and them are. As I said, that area back there is just instance. You can't go back there on a normal flight. So you talk to the airship ticker and they'll give you, like, I'm about to pick up Lady of the Vortex. So that's what he'll say to me. I'm sure if there's others, if you're on another one, he'll have that as a title. I'm not sure, but just choose that one. You don't need to purchase your ticket to anywhere. And he'll let you in for free. Hope you've enjoyed the Beast Tribe Daily ones I've done. Um, I've only had done the two so far, but more should be coming up in not long. But, it's time. According to my test, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony with the crystal. Meaning we can leave whenever you're ready. But you must understand, tests can only tell one so much. Until we approach the Howling Eye, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot be sure that this will work. I think it only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistically statistically significant chance that the crystal could trigger a massive... Hmm, maybe it's better that we remain positive. Bailer, I want to thank you for reuniting me with my ship, for trusting in me to, to develop this plan, for everything. You've helped me to rediscover a part of myself I'd forgotten. I'm not the man I once was, I do not know if I ever shall be, but I do know one thing, this feels right. My apologies for the sudden outpouring of sentiment. I would have waited until after the mission, but, well, you understand. In other words, he's telling us we're gonna go die. Hmm. Gear. All of the gear. With Sid's modifications now installed, the Enterprise is finally ready to make the journey to the Howling Eye. Except. And we automatically go into a cutscene. Oh, I forgot to actually gave him the voice actor. I think one of my voices for him was decent. Can, can you do that with like half a wheel? I guess that is how they have airplanes, isn't it? To Curthus, and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Hi. Enterprise. I'm sorry, I thought you were evil. Carthus. I'm still calling it Coerthus. Really? Really, Alphanod? Uh, haven't we made enough Star Trek references? Oh, this is a very pretty view. Hey, I'm here too. Doubt. Hmm, your goggles. Oh. oh, hello, you have a dot on your head. Uh, doesn't the dot in the head mean that- Oh wait, we knew he was Garlean. Never mind. Was there? Yeah. Just how long have What's going I on? These damn goggles. 
Oh, Echo, I love you too. Yes, I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. Look, it's Kid Sid. The young prodigy, admired by all, exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald. Hmm. So we get to learn a bit more about Sid now. Okay, it wasn't aware balancing on a toolbox was something for mechanical something. Oh, you're making a little cute Magitek armor. Stop seeing eye to eye. <laughs> hmm. When did Meteor become your everything and your loved ones cease to matter? Uh oh. This is going into some 1.0 territory here. Hi, Dalamud. The mood. Um, hi. You abandoned us all, but he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end. Hmm. Gaius. Just another man with an all consuming obsession. <laughs> where is Garlem? Oh, I guess that's where Garlem so is. Left the Empire behind and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks. Hey, it's Biggs and Wedge. Constellation, I'm betting. Wonder what it is. Hi, I'm here too. I got something for you. It's nothing. Ah, yes, it was then that I first dawned these guys. I'm gone. Bye bye. Who the hell was that that looked like me? It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People weren't saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. It's good to have a non-evil Sid for once. Yes, I know there were all kinds of good Sids, but... Wasn't there like two bad ones? Twelve and thirteen's uh, debatable, I think. And it all began that day when I found my new home. Hmm. Your new home. I had forgotten how wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky, that light, it was you, wasn't it? It 
Um, no, I don't think the Echo can do that. Actually, it can. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. Oh, that what it is. Um, I'll explain a little bit more in a few about the Echo. The Enterprise was made for this. To carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphidor Yay! Sorry to have been such a burden. That's my roleplay character's least favorite word. Burden. My name, my people, and my purpose. Every day. Yay! It would be rude to keep Garuda waiting. We don't need a frying pan. Well, yes. Yes, it might indeed be. That is the Howling Eye down there. Looks like a hurricane. And probably for good reason. Can we get in safely? Apparently, yes. Well, that was less dramatic than I hoped it'd be. I'm not the whole thing about Sid remembering everything, just getting in. Or are we in? I think we're in. We'll find out in a moment. Now this, this is another one of those zones that's not really a zone. Where does it consider it? Howling Eye. But, where, I guess that's the mainland over there. Um, so yeah, we're somewhere over here. Um, this is, I don't even think you come back here later at all. I think this place is, like with the Ifrit area where we got taken to, I think this is another area where you can only come to once. But that's the thing about the Echo. The Echo, while mostly being used for showing you scenes of the past that you weren't around for, um, it does have some other powers, but um, they pretty much nerfed the hell out of it in 2.0. In 1.0, it had like time travel abilities and well that's the only one I remember but you could go back in time and actually they'd recognize you the um Derplander the character they use as a generic base for the game he's basically the face of Final Fantasy 14 he used the echo power to go back in time in some cutscene I don't remember I wasn't around then but, um, yeah. So, I, there are a few more powers, and like I said, I can't remember them all. But, that is the only time in my recent memory that I can recall the time travel feature being referenced in 2.0. Let alone any of the other references. For the most part, it's always used for just seeing the past. So, Alf Sid, what have you to say? What is it, Feeler? Don't tell me you're having second thoughts at a time like this. Are you... Do you truly wish to return to Gridania? So if you want to go back to Gridania, you can do that. Or Alphanob. All our efforts, all our trails, all of it was for this. Make ready, Feeler, for the end is nigh. Be it hers or our own. Duty Finder has been updated. The Howling Eye is now accessible. Now well, let's just go explore this place a bit. There's not much to explore, though. Can I walk back on the ship? No. Well, anyways, I believe we will start out the next episode with Garuda. Um, I know this has been a short episode, but no. I thought the cutscene was a little longer. Um, but we've only been here for 15 minutes. Um, so, apologize for the seriously short episode today, but, well, you get to see Garuda finally. After all that traveling in Coerthus, 
Kurthus, whatever he said, I've already forgotten how he pronounced it. Um, all the all that crap we did to get the ship, get repairs to the ship, get ready to get here. Long after our friends got kidnapped, what, at level 30? or 44 now. So, let's see. We'll see you next time if Garuda can salvage us. Actually, we'll see that in the dungeon episode that will be uploaded either later today or shortly after. Or at the same time as videos sometimes I tend to flip flop on that. Anyways, this has been Veeler. I hope you enjoyed and have fun in the gales.